Hello little minions, it is me, Bo Shevasu. I am coming to you today with this curved shower curtain rod. If you're like me, you want extra space shower. Now, I've actually broken one of these before because it was not installed correctly. So I'm hoping to save you a bit of time. First of all, we're gonna cover high level what this looks like installing, and I am actually installing this onto tile itself. What I like about this is that you don't actually have to drill into the tile. It just slaps right onto there and it uses pressure Two, you'll see this sleeve right here, it expands this way, so it presses up against the tile. So first of all, let's just talk about high level, how this goes on your shower. Then we are going to dig into the details exactly how this thing is put together because it does come in multiple parts. So first of all, what this looks like is, so see it's kind of like a smiley face, we're going to be eventually putting it up here, don't worry, there will be a cap on that side, which I'll show you how to put on in just a minute, along with a very nice brushed nickel looking over that. That little cover, that cap is gonna go over. But again, high level how this is implemented. So you're gonna position it once the caps are on the end, and it's gonna expand and press up against the wall. So it's gonna go all the way over there, and you're gonna expand it as much as possible. I'd recommend having two people for this. And then, once it is, it is fully expanded, there's a little tiny Allen key right down there and it locks it into position, but not fully into position. Tighten this down with the included little Allen key, okay? And then, once it's expanded as much as possible, then see this little sticker, it says twist. And at that point, you're going to twist it, and this is going to expand it that extra inch or so, or maybe less than an inch, but and uh, that is actually doing the, the, the actual expanding and ensuring that you have the proper amount of pressure. Uh, so again, two steps. One, expand out, tighten it down, then roll this, and that really snugs it down, okay? So as promised, we are going to hop into how exactly this is put together. It will come in two separate rods like this, and you will see that it, it, it uh, goes right into there. It comes with a whole bunch of screws. First of all, you are going to install this little guy. So this is kind of like a little squishy thing. I've already kind of pre-installed this to show you what it looks like, but this black cap is going to be going on, and so you see that rod, and so it's gonna slip right into there. And if we were to rotate it, see that screw? And there's nothing in there. But if we were to do this now on the other side, you'll see that it aligns with that. So go ahead and take this and that and kind of force it in there, just like so. You can kind of see daylight through there. See that? We're gonna drop it into there. Now we're gonna get that little guy and put it onto this side. And they will kind of join together um, the little bolt and you can hand tighten it. And then eventually you're gonna kind of crank this down with this little guy. Now we have that right there. Easy enough, right? Flip the cap, thread it over, and this comes off of it. They don't pre-install it for some reason. And you can put it right on to here like so. See that? Okay, and then that will correspond with this. Be very gentle when sliding this little cheap, thin plastic sleeve into place. It's just to kind of prevent of the rod from rattling around. It's a, it's a shim, basically. So there's a little plastic shim there and a plastic shim there, okay? And then, of course, we've also pre-installed that little screw in there, and this will be tightening down all the way, as you saw at the beginning of this video. And now this whole installation process, this cap has probably been sliding all over the place and driving you absolutely crazy. Well, good news, it is now time to align those little dimples and situate them right onto there. best part about this, no holes are being drilled into my wife's beautiful tile shower. And that is it. Go ahead and get your shower curtain, hook it over, you're good to go. Hope that this real world demonstration and installation tutorial is helpful in determining whether or not this curved rod is right for you. My name is Bo Shevisu.